Yes, I did speak with those three former Lizzo dancers who officially filed a lawsuit against their now former boss over what they described to me as a hostile work environment. I was put in a lot of uncomfortable situations regarding religion. The racial and sexual harassment. I can either go to the bathroom on my, up for myself or lose my job and my livelihood. Shocking allegations from Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez, now former backup dancers to singer Lizzo. The women accused the Grammy award-winning artist of misconduct, including sexual, religious, and racial harassment, disability discrimination, assault, and false imprisonment. Lizzo's production company and dance team captain are also named in this complaint, filed in L.A. County Superior Court Tuesday. Davis describes in graphic detail what she says she was forced to witness and do while visiting a bar with Lizzo and select dancers in Amsterdam. Dildos were being shot out of performers' vaginas, and people were eating bananas out of the performers' vaginas. Davis says she told Lizzo no when Lizzo pressured her to touch a performer's naked breasts. I said no three times. Eventually, I just touched the performer briefly. I was really mortified. I was really uncomfortable. Davis says she was also body shamed by Lizzo, who has long used her platform to spearhead the body positivity movement. This very nuanced. Um, air of like, what's wrong with Ariana? She's gaining weight. She said, we're lucky that we're not getting fired because normally in the dance industry, people get fired for gaining weight. Rodriguez, a Lizzo dancer since 2018, quit this spring over how Davis and Williams were treated after they were fired, Williams says, for defending herself. Against her allegations, you know, kind of led to uh, me being let go. When Rodriguez resigned, she says Lizzo got aggressive. She started to ball up her fist and say, you're so effing lucky. The women are seeking unspecified compensatory damages for the emotional stress plus loss of employment. Basically, having, being the victim of this power dynamic. We, of course, did reach out to Lizzo and her attorney for comment today and have yet to hear back.